coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Today I'm back with another review. If you guys just saw the little clips I inserted of me using four new Mally products, you guys know I have this compulsion to perform coffee break research whenever possible. And I've always seen Mally on, I think QVC, or I think it's QVC or HSN. It's one of those home shopping networks. And every time I watch her, I just get so engulfed with her personality because she's one of those women that you wonder, does she have a, does she ever have a bad day? Because she's always so sweet and bubbly and positive. And I swear, I used to get made fun of when I was in elementary school. They used to say that I had a hanger in my mouth because my smile was so big. No, Mally blows me out of the water. Her smile, she is like all smile. Her face is all smile. Tater high. <laughs> and she's just so amazing. When I would watch her, I'd be so tempted to order products, but for some reason or another, I never did. Well, when I heard that Ulta adopted Mally and they started selling it on their website, again, I was tempted, but for some reason, I never got around to it. Well, finally, Mally, just like It Cosmetics, is available at every single Ulta now. I have something in my eye. I'm sorry, you guys. That's why I'm like blinking manically. I've had something in my eye, but you know when you have something in your eye and you can't see what it is and you just blink like a moron? That's what's going on right now, so I apologize. <laughs> so finally, uh, Mally came to all Ulta's and of course when my sister-in-law was here visiting a couple weeks ago, I just had to jump on the bandwagon. I said, I've always wanted to try Mally products, so why not start now? Not to mention that Ulta had a promotion where if you spent $70 on Mally stuff, you got a full-size mascara and a full-size lip product. So technically, I was only going to research two products, but thanks to Ulta's promotion, I get to research four. <laughs> so the first product that you guys saw in my demo is Mally's Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. She calls it PPP. PPPP, her PPPP, um, and this primer is supposed to create a barrier between your moisturizer and your makeup. So basically, Mally is one of those really educated women that knows what she's talking about. She's just not a pretty face slapped on a brand. She puts her hard work into the brand. So basically, she said, look, Moisturizer is good for the skin, but your makeup hates your moisturizer because it creates problems. Moisturizer is supposed to keep your skin moisturized and healthy and hydrated. Makeup doesn't like that. Makeup will slide right off and melt off your face. So what her primer is supposed to do, not only make, you know, not only provide the same type of benefits that most primers do, like um, blur your fine lines, uh, kind of camouflage your pores, but it also creates a barrier between your moisturizer and whatever makeup you decide to put on top, BB cream, foundation, powder, whatever. So not only does it allow some space for your skin to breathe, but it also allows your makeup to last longer and not slip and slide all over your face. The good thing about Mally products as well is that a lot of her products have little manuals inside, um, and I don't know about you, but whether you like makeup or not, it's really important to include instructions and in things, especially things like primers, because you may not be getting all the benefits out of the product. For example, this is a skin primer, so it is designed to go under your makeup, but you can also apply this over your makeup to kind of mattify your skin and allow your makeup to stay in place. So it is a multi-purpose product. The only downside to the primer, I would think, is that it comes in a pot. And anytime products come in pots like this, it compromises the integrity of the product, it dries out faster, you can get germs in there, it's a little... It's not as hygienic as it could be as if it were in like a squeeze tube. And it also says in the instructions that you wanna make sure that you cover it really tightly, that you securely put on the lid every single time, otherwise the primer will dry out. The packaging is stunning. I would definitely put this or display it on my vanity. I kind of have no choice because it doesn't fit in any of my Muji drawers because it is a little bulky, but it is beautiful, so it's not an eyesore. It comes with this little plastic plug on top 
to keep your primer from drying out. And this primer has the hefty price tag of $35. Um, most primers cost $30 at Sephora's and Ulta's. The Benefit Professional, the Smashbox primer, they all cost $30. So this is $5 more expensive and it does have the same amount of product as most primers do, which is one ounce. The next product that I tried is the Effortless Airbrush Highlighter in Blush. And this comes in two colors. It comes in the color Pretty and Pink. And then there is another one that looks like a muted peachy pink. That's the one I actually wanted, but this was the only one available. So Coffee Break Research Purpose is called, and I decided to get it anyway. It is the one I'm wearing on my cheeks now. I'm also wearing the highlighter. And out of the four products that I tried, this is the one that I did not like. So basically, out of the four products, I liked three. This one, I did not like at all. I'm sorry, Mally. Please don't stop smiling. <laughs> like, my review matters. But, um, I didn't like this product at all. I don't. I, I love how it comes in this cute little pink case. I love the idea of having a blush and a highlighter together, especially because most of the time when you have this scenario, it also has a bronzer. And a lot of times people are afraid of bronzers or don't like bronzers. So the option of highlighter and blush is very hard to find. And this is a brilliant concept, but the product itself is not very user friendly. It does come with a double ended brush and this brush brush is not hard, but it's not soft. Um, in fact, it's it, it doesn't feel hard on the skin, but when you apply it or when you dip it into the product, it crumbles. In fact, I didn't like using this brush so much, so I thought, okay, I'm going to use my fancy schmancy Wayne Goss uh, blush my Wayne Goss brush, and that is not synthetic hair, it's real hair, and so it's as soft as it can possibly be, and it broke parts of the blush off. So it is a very dry, crumbly product, and it doesn't affect the application, but it's hard to pick up the product. When you dip your brush in to pick up the product, it crumbles, and you get like chunks on your brush rather than a soft, loose powder. The highlighter itself is a pretty color. It's kind of like a champagne. Champagne highlighters are available a dime a dozen and they are a lot better than this one. So I am kind of unsatisfied with this product. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna return it because I don't see myself picking this up ever again. Um, I thought I was going to really like the brush because it almost reminds me of a really giant like shading brush but for the skin. And whenever you have a giant shading looking brush, it's perfect for areas of the face. Like if you wanna set your concealer or for highlighter in little tiny areas like under your chin, on the sides of your nose. But I didn't like the brush and I didn't like the blush and highlighter duo. The next product that I tried was actually one of the gifts with purchase, and this is the High Shine Liquid Lipstick. I'm currently wearing it now. Um, you guys know I'm not a fan of glosses, but I have been on a gloss kick lately. I don't know why, but I've been reaching for glosses a lot, and I've been buying glosses a lot. So when I heard this was gonna be one of the gifts with purchase, I got really excited. It's in the shade Must Have Pink, and this kind of reminds me of those um, Stila Twistable Glosses. It's like a lip glaze, I think they're called. Um, all of her products have either gold tones, pink tones, or like a snake print. This is a really pretty dusty rose, but it is one of those glosses that have very very light pigmentation, and the minute it touches your warm skin, it kind of melts. It, it, it turns more liquidy than it actually is. It's already a really soft product, but once it touches your skin, it melts a little bit. I haven't experienced it bleeding, but true to lip products, once they warm up, the pigmentation gets a little bit more sheer, so the color doesn't show up as much. What you guys are seeing right now is the color of my actual lips, not the color of the actual product. I don't know the retail price. Actually, I'll write the retail price for this product. I got it as a free gift, but I'm pretty sure it's probably around $20 or something. Uh, I wouldn't purchase this on my own just because I don't like twist up, click, click, click things. They're a little aggravating for me. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But this is a perfect product to throw in your purse and to have on the run when you want to just pick a pick-me-up on your face, you know? After you leave the gym and you're going grocery shopping, you want a little gloss on your lips. It is very nourishing. It is very glossy without being sticky. It's not sticky at all. It feels almost like a, 
like a really balmy jelly gloss on your lips. It's super comfortable to wear and it's not bleeding everywhere, but it is a sheer product. So because my eye look is very dramatic, I think it goes perfectly well. It's a little bit more of a muted lip product. And the last product that I'm reviewing from the Mali collection for you guys is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. Um, a lot of our packaging is mint green and you guys know how I feel about mint. I mean, look at my pants. I'm even wearing mint pants. So I do love my mint, and this is the product, I'm, I'm just being honest, this is the product that I thought I was going to like the least. I really thought I was going to hate it. In fact, so much so that I wasn't even going to review it. I know I can be a little closed-minded sometimes and just make up my mind without giving things a fair shot or an opportunity, so I thought, no. I need to do myself the service of providing a thorough review or as much of a thorough review as I can. And because this was a free gift, I thought to myself, oh, well, I didn't even pay for it, so I don't have to do a review on it. On the same token, I thought, well, it is a free gift, it's a full-size product, and you could do a more thorough review, Danny. so include it. This mascara is really fantastic. I did not think, okay. Mally gets excited when she talks about her products um, on QVC. I, oh, I wish I knew if it was QVC or HSM, but you guys know what I mean. She gets so excited, but she gets particularly excited when she talks about her eyeshadow sticks and this mascara. She says this is one of her highest selling products, that everyone likes it, that it's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And I can actually concur with that excitement. I didn't think I was going to like it because the brush is just like regular black bristle brush. I prefer silicone brushes. It doesn't look like it's a special bristle head or anything. It doesn't look unique. It doesn't look magnificent. But it is one of those wands that grabs the base of your lashes and combs them out. So if for whatever reason your lashes were sticking together, they are not sticking together with this wand. The formula is more of a drier, thicker formula, but it's still juicy. Does that make sense? It's still wet enough to coat all your lashes with one pump. So if you want to do all your lashes, you pull the wand out once, it coats all of them, and then you dip it back in, and then you're ready for the second coat. You don't have to continuously keep dipping because the wand holds enough product, and the product evenly disperses itself where you don't have to keep going in and out. The only not-so-positive thing I have to say about it is the wand pulls out a lot of product, or rather, the mouth of the mascara, like the opening, is either too loose or too wide because a lot of product comes out on the top of the wand. Not on the, not on the actual wand, but on the top of the wand, it's saturated with mascara, and you kind of have to take it off a little bit and either put it back in, which is a little uh, or um, kind of spread it out along the bristles themselves and then coat your lashes. So this is a mascara that is great for daily use. Um, it is a great mascara for the lazy mascara applier like me. You know, a lot of mascara users have a mascara formula or a mascara ritual that takes them 15 to 20 minutes where you use two to three different kinds of mascaras. I hate doing that. I do it sometimes because I prefer the results it gives me, but who honestly has time for that? So this is one of those mascaras that'll give you the length and the volume, and if you push the envelope a little bit and keep going, you can get a lot of really great volume with this mascara. So I really, really like it. So the next time you guys are at Ulta, I really, really highly suggest you stop by the Mali counter or the Mali section of Ulta and kind of check out the products for yourself. Her packaging is really pretty, it's very clean and crisp looking. It has like the pinks and the mint and a little bit of gray snake print. So it's very girly and um, sexy packaging. But the products themselves, the products speak for themselves. I do really like the primer. I'd like to comfortably use this primer a little bit longer to see if I really like it. I do love the finish it gives to my skin. It does give it kind of like that soft touch, flawless look. Um, but Look out for this in my monthly favorites. If I mention them, if I mention any of these products, it's because I continue to love them. Um, but again, you know, this product was a big flop for me, but I'm pretty excited with the new line available at Ulta because now whenever I see her on QVC, 
or HSN, I can rush to my nearest Ulta and get whatever she's talking about. Because Mally truly believes in her product and it shows. I, I love brands that are backed up by a strong, powerful woman, a smart, educated woman that has faith and you know just puts that blood sweat and tears into her company and it really shows through her product I'd really love to know if you guys have tried any other Mally products that I didn't mention um, maybe you guys can leave me your recommendations down in the comments below because I'm definitely curious and eager to try more of her products so if you guys know of any great products that have worked for you or any suggestions or maybe even any requests of something that you're curious to see how it works please leave that in the comment section below and as always if you guys found this video useful or entertaining or learned something please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys